not about building sustainable houses, but what if you've already got a house and you want to retrofit it? We're talking to Anton Tarry from EcoBulb and Craig Cargill from Heat Savers. Anton, when you're thinking of re retrofitting your house with light bulbs, what are your options? Well, the options are much like your older incandescents and your curly whirly bulbs, which people already know are out there, and they change from the incandescent, which would be inefficient light, to the curly whirly bulb, which some people like and some people don't take time to warm up. Now moving on to the LEDs, whereas technology will stop as for now, which are the much more efficient, um, non-mercury filled, uh, no overheating, a cooler operating um, product in general. Yes, the curly whirly thing. Yeah, the mercury. Uh, I mean, who knew? And then yeah. you, you're left with this bulb. Well, mercury. Mercury was a great product. It's old technology now. Uh, there was nothing else at the time. But the industry, as well as like TVs, have to move forward. Mm. So we've stepped away from that now, and we've moved on to an LED that has no mercury in it. Um, also, is a retrofit to your current lighting system, yeah. and has multiple aspects that follow that such as heat loss, heat gain, chimney effect. Uh, where does your warmth go? Naturally, it rises. And talking about heat loss, Anton, must cross over to Craig because there's a huge issue with heat loss and, and especially with old existing housing. How do you retrofit? What are the options in terms of retrofitting insulation to houses? Yeah, uh, th there's a huge problem in the, in the housing market in New Zealand, which we already have. Um, obviously, retrofit is... Um, a concern for everyone on how we do it, how we do it efficiently. Um, the government has introduced grants where we can do ceiling and underfloor insulation. We really need to push and, and top that up. Um, there are simple methods out there. Um, we can obviously with our company we can retrofit the walls um, with the phone system. Um, and it's all about creating that package, that closed package, um, that envelope in the house. And when we walk into a house and we talk to customers about how insulation works in general and heat loss in a house. The basics of a house is insulation. We can't keep diverting off to other aspects of a home. It always comes back to insulation. I always tell customers today that if you're building a new house, by law, you have to have insulation in it. You don't have to have ventilation or heat pumps. So get the insulation right, everything else we introduce in the house comes very, very simple. Makes sense. That comes to the, the eco bulbs and, and uh, they're the companies that are blocking up all these little holes in the house. So if you're sitting in an old house, don't worry, there are solutions out there that we can actually make it very modern and warm for you. That's right. I mean, you can you can heat the heck out of a house all you like. <laughs> the heat's flying you're out the windows. The or the you do. Yeah. You might as well be calling your neighbour up and mm. saying, hey, mm -hmm. we're putting the heater on. Are you, yeah. enjoy, are you enjoying it? Yeah. <laughs> and and it, it's, it's a concern um, because the houses I go into all the time, you, it's, it's not just the warmth of the house, it's the health conditions that we mm. look at. Yeah. It's the mould growing on the walls. Um, because the government has, to be fair, through ECA, has done a great job, haven't they, in Fantastic terms of insulating job. general, as you say, it's roofing and underfloor, yeah. but it's not the complete package, is it? it it's not, and, and you've only got to talk to the universities and, and the scientists around the, the country, and it, it's very simplistic how it works. Um, with ceiling and underfloor insulation, you're compressing that heat loss out the walls. Yeah. Uh, windows and doors. So yeah, if you're thinking like a pressurising. It, it is, yeah. it's as simple as that. Um, yeah. Yeah. So when we go into a house and we do an investigation on the house and have a look at what's going on, you know, the first things we look at is ceiling insulation, making sure that's all topped up. Um, we, we look at aspects and how they're living in the house, mm. what problems they're occurring. Generally everything points down to that they're lacking insulation somewhere in the house. Mm. Um, generally it is the walls of a house um, and we are talking pre-1991 here, so we're talking the older homes in New Zealand. Yes, there is a concern about new houses in New Zealand, but we have a lot and a lot of old houses that are in really poor shape in New Zealand. Yep. And I just don't <laughs> believe we should be living in this state. Not in New Zealand. No point in the, no. to neglect them. It is, it isn't. There's no need yeah. for it. Has the and government it left the gaps in insulation, as we were saying just before, they've left those gaps around the lights, which is the new law around incandescence and recess light mm. fittings, yep. unless they have a certain grading or coding, which is IC or IC.F. Now okay. this means the insulation can cover lights, but at the moment around a lot of lights, when the government give the grant, they leave the big gaps of insulation uh, being a 200 by 200 by 200 by 200. So That's therefore, a significant it's, it's a big yeah. gap when yeah, you look across an yeah. average Auckland home has 30 mm. down lights. Mm. Yeah. So how much pressure is actually coming from that roof into your home? Yeah. 
Now, when we and that's using the old technology downlight. That is using the older technology yeah. downlight yeah. without them having cups on them or, or, or being a CA rated fitting, which means the insulation can come within a certain distance. Mm. But as reported, um, a 5% gap in your insulation reduces the thermal rating or R value as we know it by up to 50%. So Can just go. insulating the roof and, and the floor and not doing the walls mm. yeah. is, to be honest, to a lot of people that have a good wage, a waste of money, and to mm. people that get it done for free, yeah. what was the point in not yeah. providing the full solution? Yes. Yeah. So a lot of people are being left in the dark as such. The, the solution is there. It, it's, it's quite simple. There are companies that we can, you know, can do the full insulation package. It's just making sure that there is the assistance and the government's talking about landlords now having to insulate the, the rental properties. That's absolutely <coughs> fantastic because I come across mm. shocking homes. Um, and, but again, the package is not there. We're talking ceiling and underfloor insulation. Um, there have been studies to show that the, the increase in temperatures just by doing ceiling and underfloor is minimal. Um, wrapping the walls of a house, it increases hugely um, because it is a complete package. Mm. Um, so that's when we come in and advise people of what we can do in a home. It is a very, very simple process. Um, we just need to get more assistance from the government that to advise people that there is a solution there. And we're talking big energy savings as well. Uh, for instance, your lighting. I mean, what are you... Exactly. So uh, an older incandescent light bulb can consume as much as, running for three to four hours a day, $33 per light bulb. Annually. Annually, mm -hmm. so it's producing um, excess usage on your power bill. Now, there's one thing that power will not do in New Zealand, as we've noticed, and that will come down. <laughs> it's a three to ten percent increase happening year on year, mm -hmm. and there's no controllability over that. Whereas with LEDs, you can take control of your own home and bring that bill down by up to twenty-five percent. Mm -hmm. So that is a, an incredible amount of savings because naturally your heat normally rises, sealing off the downlight is, or using a lower LED downlight, such as our, our product being at 12 watts, a 9 watt, um, or a 7 watt, we have three different levels depending on the solution needed, uh, will save you different amounts of money. An LED, in comparison to an incandescent, an incandescent being the older style light bulb at 75 watts, $33 to run a year. An LED, at our 12 watts, five dollars to run a year. There is your savings wow. is the difference. Yeah. yeah, there's all these savings that can come into a house, and yeah. you know, when we look at these little savings, they all add up if we can come into it. So when we look into a house that's not insulated, what's the first thing people go out and do? They buy the biggest heating they can afford mm -hmm. because they live in a cold, uninsulated home. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. It's, it's so true. And yeah. then we work back. We we buy these ventilation systems when we're dealing with a, a 1920s villa that has got mm. gaps around the front door and, and the windows are all rattly. Mm. The house is already ventilated. Mm -hmm. So it's a process that we advise people to go through. <laughs> There's the retrofit double glazing, but make sure before you retrofit the glass that the timber window is actually sealed tight. Mm. There's no point in retrofit double glazing if you've got a rattly window that's letting drafts in. Mm. So it is We've that complete package actually. again. <laughs> um, so yeah, with, with the lights, 20 something percent uh, it's 25% up to 25% saving. We've, yeah. we've been tested 31% um, saving by insulating the walls, wow. energy savings. Mm. So here's all these savings that add up hugely in a mm. house. Um, so when we look at a house in, in typical Auckland, average temperature in a house in Auckland is around 12 degrees with no <coughs> insulation. It's cold. By doing ceiling and underfloor insulation, that's increasing on average to 12.8. Oh, really? Wow, well, not right. much. <laughs> when we oh. wrap the walls and finish off all the little bits in a house, mm. We're getting an increase from 12.8 up to around the 14, possibly 15 degree mm -hmm. mark. Yeah. So when you look at a healthy home environment, which is between 16 and 18 degrees, the energy needed to heat yeah. that house up that is fully insulated, mm -hmm. you're talking one to two degrees. Mm -hmm. lot, lot if you look at a house that's mm -hmm. got no insulation, the energy required to heat that house up four degrees, it's huge. Well, often people just simply don't, do they? Unfortunately, and, and they don't. There's a lot of health-related issues around that. They, they avoid it. They yeah. avoid it. And yeah. to go on to what we were talking about with the LEDs and the insulation working hand in hand is, as part of our company, because the government leave the 200 by 200 gap around lights, yeah. is we supply a product that, being fully sealed and having an IC.F rating, we will also supply the full solution with the insulation as well. Yeah. At that as point, a retrofit. As a retrofit. Oh. Yeah. So we're providing the full solution yep. now. 
involved with our product, we are the only ones at the moment in New Zealand that are offering a lifetime warranty on our product. Lifetime. And that yeah. not, is not my life. That is not your life. That is not the product's life of 40 years. But as long as somebody in your family owns that property, we will continue to replace that fitting free of charge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which means you have a, the support of a company like ourselves, which are New Zealand based, that design their own products, manufacture their own products, install their own products, and sell their own products with the customer in mind. As we are a publicly listed company on the New Zealand Stock Exchange as well. So I have to admit, we did a little alteration on our place uh, several years ago and we put in downlights, the older downlights that produce the heat, and then I put the bats over the top of the lights. And uh, right now they're sitting on top of those lights, and I didn't know that, that, that issue. So, what's the issue there? The Potential issue, fire hazard? The issue there is that in New Zealand, as recorded since 2005 to 2010, there has been a recorded number of structure fires. That number is 1,327 structure fires are caused across New Zealand Crikey. because of conventional lighting. Now, one in every five of those structural fires was actually caused because of lights in the home. The rest yeah. are other causes such as electrical and mm -hmm. stove tops and so on and so forth. Sure. Our job is to remove that fire risk. Those lights that you're talking about, those little halogens or those mm -hmm. big incandescents have a temperature rating above what a pink bat is capable or a form of insulation capable mm -hmm. of handling mm -hmm. when it is too close. They are 250 degrees Celsius and 375 degrees Celsius. So you go, is that the time? Oh, I've got to get home. Can, <laughs> can you <laughs> actually turn on your oven to that temperature? Wow. You yeah. would cook a roast yeah. chicken. Yeah. yeah. So why do you want that form of heating coming from yeah. those lights? Mm. Or the possibility of where fires actually occur is in your roof space mm. above smoke detectors. Wow, that's incredible. So the yeah. removal of fire risk is something that we hold dearly, along with the other benefits of warmer winter, cooler summer, mm. safer all year through, extended bulb changes to from just a normal light bulb, 25 years or more, and from our light fitting, a lifetime opportunity of a lifetime warranty if you are going to stay in that home. And Anton, you have just wrapped that up beautifully for that segment. It's, a, it's an encapsulated the whole thing. There's health issues as well, of course. Huge. It's a warmer, um, safer home. Um, uh, and uh, go well. Yeah, thanks, Rob.